So today has Repulse had their fan stream, fan stream from Marvel Legends. There was some new stuff that was revealed and there was some basic stuff that already knew was happening. So let's get into this. So first they showed off Giant Man, the Hazlab Giant Man. We are getting that still. Um, they zoomed in on the face. I think the smile looks kind of creepy. And the way Dwight's holding it to his face is kind of disturbing. But other than that, the head sculpt looks good. I'm interested to see what the rest of this looks like. I know there's been a lot of stuff said about the Hazlab Giant Man and stuff, but we'll see what it fully looks like when it's done. And then they just showed off the they were released to the Deadpool waves, the Deadpool figures, I mean. The retro quarterback X-Men, the Uncanny X-Men, X-Force Daredevil. And the Daredevil Deadpool Corp um, scooter pack with Daredevil Dog Pool and Squirrel Pool. Um, these came out before I start collecting, so I might just have to get the Retro Card pack. I don't really care for Pool Corp's pack, so yeah. Then they just showed off uh, the Daredevil the Hydro Man Hasbro Pulse exclusive VHS 2 pack. Also stated that the wire that's used to connect their devil's billy clubs is actually not a bendy wire and some type of valuable like plastic that you can move in any way, shape, or form. So I'm interested in see to how that is done. I do like this two pack. I'm thinking about picking it up, but yeah, they also talked about how apparently people love the translucent plastic I guess if you could say that yeah they just showed off pictures of them some stills of them to see what they look like but then yeah I showed off the new Spider-Man and Mazurit VHS 2 pack which was Morbius and Doctor Strange I personally was not expecting this I don't think actually anybody else was I do like both the figures they did state that they had to adjust the Doctor Strange's tunics for more articulation. But I think Doctor Strange looks like he came right out of the TV show. Morbius does too, although his head looks a little bit oversized for his body. That could just be me, but I'm hoping it looks better in person. But yeah, that is one of the new VHS 2 packs they announced, the other one. Then they got into the Walmart and Target exclusive Spider-Man recorded packs. The first one was Prowler, which I know a lot of people were speculating. and That was one that people were really hoping that they showed off, I think, if I'm correct. But it's a Walmart exclusive. It comes with an unmaxed head sculpt that they showed pictures of out there, as you see in the video. I think it looks good. It's the original Prowler. I'm excited. Walmart exclusives can be hard to find sometimes, so that should be fun to do. Um, the next one, I was really excited. I was really happy to see. And it was Carnage. A Target exclusive Carnage. And they explained that they took that body from the one symbiote body they had for Carnage, I believe is that one. And all they did was Give it a new head sculpt, give it giant, giant weapons, and I think it looks phenomenal. As you can see, it has the new, the uh, carnage. I think they were kind of saying like classic carnage head sculpt with some oversized weapons, and you see the tendrils sticking out and stuff, and it has some claw hands. But I think this might just be the best carnage that we've ever gotten from Marvel Legends. Might so. Yeah, but they never did state when the pre-orders for those two two packs were. They said they'd be coming soon. And a lot of this, a lot of the Target exclusives, exclusive ones like Walmart and stuff, um, they don't like the UK, apparently, because I don't know what you, the UK did to piss off Hasbro, but they did something because in the comments, the live chat, all it was was, what about UK? What about UK? Because, if you know... The Walmart exclusive one is only available in the U.S. and Canada. So, yeah. But no, for the Carnage one, it was Can United States was Target and Canada was Toys R Us and Fan Channel. 
Then they got into a pack that we all knew was coming. It is the Fantastic Four um, pack with X, with Wolverine and Spider-Man. They're Fantastic Four suits from that run. They mentioned completing two teams. I guess this was one of the teams that they were talking about, and the other one we'll get to soon. But no, I, I like it. I think I'll pick it up. I don't have the... The... the uh, Richard's Kids 2-pack. I forgot what their names were. I don't have that 2-pack. So, yeah. Maybe I'll have to get it to get the, complete this team. But, no, I like the Spider-Man. And I like the Wolverine. Another Wolverine we're getting this year. The Year of Wolverines. But, no, there's nothing wrong with this, in my opinion. I think it looks fine. Uh, it's just kind of... We all kind of knew it was coming. But... If you have any thoughts about these so far, let me know in the comments. But yeah, the Spider-Man looks fine. The Wolverine looks good. I like the blue. I, they The Wolverine is not pinless. Shocker. The Spider-Man, I believe... I believe the Spider-Man has... Pinless everything. I'm not 100% sure if it's fully pinless. I know the legs are pinless. That I know. But then they also stated they went and talked about how this year is supposed to see a lot of Captain America stuff. They hint they said that the movie got pushed back in 2025. For those who didn't know, Captain America 4 is supposed to come out this year. But they stated that the pre-orders for the Walmart exclusive US and Canada. Captain America Secret Empire figure would be soon, and that the pre-order for the comic book Sam Wilson Captain America, which would be a, a Target exclusive in the U.S. and a Toys R Us exclusive in Canada, would be coming soon also. So they just reinstated okay. those, that those will be coming soon. So, and then in the background, you can see them in the, on their little, you can see them in the background of the uh, video. So I guess it's nice to know that. And then more Captain America related news. They showed off an Amazon two pa an Amazon exclusive two pack of the original Baron Zemo. They called him Daddy Zemo, a little weird, and Arnim Zola. And they mentioned that there was an Arnim Zola that released a while back that was a build a figure, and do not have that. Forgot that came out, but this is a more comic book actor. When they said with orange, they did have a new digital face thing on there um i think it looks good that it has two different head top pieces i don't know what you call that little is that like a little laser i don't know and then they were also talking about the baron zemo they also mentioned that in these pictures it doesn't have the fur um the fur top but the figure does the figure does have the fur top, as you can see from the picture of the two-pack. Um, but they also showed off that it comes with a, what is it, like the scarred, like really ugly looking head sculpt of what he looks like underneath the mask. I mean, I think this is a fine two-pack. I don't know if anybody really wanted this. I don't know if this will sit or what but it's an amazon exclusive so maybe it might sell out maybe not i'm not for sure i don't really know if i'm gonna pick this one up then we got into one that people were spec speculating which was the it was the shield three pack with nick fury sharon carter and dun dun duggan i mean dum dum duggan so i know people were really excited for that I think the, the head sculpts look wonderful. They mentioned that these are new sculpted bodies. And the head sculpt of Nick Fury is good. The Sharon Carter they mentioned is part of the new parts. Some of it's from the Black Widow. I kind of figured that's what that was by just looking at it. But yeah, I know you can see the effect. The smoke pieces from the guns look like from the Black Widow. The guns, I don't know if they're from Black Widow. But I do like the Sharon Carter. And this is the first time in a long, long time that I've really said Dum Dum Duggan figure. I will say this, the guns do look realistic. They look, they all look good. 
I'm excited for this. I know people knew this was coming, so there was a lot of hype for this one. And then you can see them. They put him in their poses and stuff. And then, yeah, some of the pieces from Sharon Carter do, like, reuse from the Black Widow, which there's nothing wrong with that. That was a really good Black Widow figure. So no one's complaining about that. At least I hope not. Then they got into the, the Build-A-Figure wave. And I mixed on it, kind of. First, I shut off the Red Widow, which they showed off last fan stream, but nobody's really caring for it. So they showed that off. So there's that. They showed off, you know, her holding our little weapon. I don't know what that is. A little double-bladed spear. And then they showed Icarus, which people had. There was Rectangular also mentioned that that might be coming too. So there's that. I don't know how much um, people want to look at that because of what happened with the Eternals. So I don't know if people want that figure. So yeah. Then they showed off Black Winter. Which is from the Galactus storyline, I believe, where Thor was the herald for Galactus. And they just basically explained as it's he took a version of Thor, took off the appearance of Thor. I think it looks nice. Um no one was really expecting this figure. In fact, in the live chat, everybody was saying that this wave is gonna end up at Ross and Ollie's. So negative as usual. Then Okay, they showed off Superior Iron Man. They showed him with the unmaxed head sculpt, which I know people were asking for a Superior Iron Man. And then there was also people in the live chat saying it's supposed to be metallic. I don't, they probably didn't make it metallic because it costs, but I think the figure looks good. I like Superior Iron Man. I thought the storyline for that was a good comic book run. They showed him with the unmaxed head sculpt and the masked head sculpt. So that's nice. I think most people will probably portray him with the unmaxed head sculpt. That's just how people will usually see Superior Iron Man. Then the figure everybody is asking for, Wolfsbane to complete the X-Force wave, the X-Force team. We got a Build-A-Figure Strongman. We got Havoc and Polaris 2-Pack a while back. And we had a, a multi multiple man a while back too. Now we have Wolfsbane. And I believe that's all of the X-Force. But I know I think this figure looks wonderful. It's exactly what we've been asking. People have been asking for Wolfsbane for a long time. And this one was long overdue. So people in the live chat were excited. They were happy. They were still saying this way was getting it up in Ross and Ollie's though. So that's a little misleading. Then we got cable. Good cable. I like this cable. I'm getting this cable. I don't have a cable figure. It's a nice, classic, regular-looking cable, which I'm fine with because that's kind of what I want. So, so far, see, at first, they didn't say this was a Build-A-Figure wave. So when I first saw this, I was just saying, okay, I'll just get the Iron Man, the Wolfsbane, and the cable. Then they introduced Kazar from the X-Men from the Savage Lands. And at first it was like, okay, are they gonna are they gonna introduce his friend slash pet saber to the Sabu? So at first it was just Kazor, and I was just like, okay. But then they threw a curveball and made Zabu the build a figure for the wave. And in the live chat, everybody was saying Ross and Ollie's repeatedly. And I mean repeatedly. They were saying this could have just been a two-pack. That this does not have to be released as a Build-A-Figure wave. Now, I don't... I like the way Zabu looks. It looks good. It's just... I They have a point. This could have just been a two-pack. But they also stated that the pre-order will be on the 22nd for these... And people were saying, no one's going to pick that up. People are going to pick that up. People are going to want the Wolfsbane. People are going to want that cable. And then I'm pretty sure people are going to want the Superior Iron Man. Not 
a very, it was only 45 minutes, not a very long stream, it was kind of, it was a little lackluster, but there was some stuff people liked. I know I was kind of expecting at least some more. I didn't think they were building anything about a Secret Wars wave on Retro Card Pack happening. They'll probably save that for summer or something. Um, people were asking for Superior Spider-Man. They did state that there would be no new MCU figures on this fan stream, which I kind of they already stated that. Dan tweeted that actually, so we all kind of knew that was happening. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this wave in the in the comics in the comments. And let me know how you felt about the fan stream in general. The live chat was mixed at point at times, but it is what it is. We don't make the figures. We just buy them. So whatever they put out there, most of us will probably buy. But be sure to like, comment, and go check out my other videos. I have some reviews up now, some toy reviews up, so... Be sure to check those out and yeah, see you guys next time.